There are around 4 billion football fans around the world, but the football video game market has just been dominated by one name, and that is FIFA, obviously created by EA Sports. But there is going to be lots of changes happening. FIFA is now breaking away from EA Sports, but it is still the best-selling sports video game franchise in the world. The FIFA series has sold over 325 million copies as of 2021. But now, is that going to be changing because there are so many shifts happening and what football games could potentially come and replace them. We're going to be looking at three different football games in this video. The first game is UFL. It is developed by Strikers Inc. And this is going to be a free to play game that they have been working on for quite a while now. It's not ready just yet. We'll take a look at the release date in just a moment. But they have been saying that the game is designed to be a fair to play experience that implies a skill first approach and zero pay to win options. So obviously this is music to our ears, something, a game that isn't going to be obviously pay to win. Right now in FIFA, it's always been the way where if someone puts on a load of FIFA points and they open lots of packs, they are pretty much going to have a massive advantage over you. Even if they don't pack anything just from quick selling what's in the pack or listing up on the market for what it goes for or SBC fodder, everything like that. They don't even need good pack luck. If they spend enough money, they are going to be getting coins. And with those coins, they can buy better players and they are going to be beating you in foot champs division rivals, supposedly, because they do have better teams. And that is the pay to win aspect. So UFL is promising there is going to be zero pay to win options, which obviously is very interesting. And it's exciting to see what they do exactly have in mind. It is partnered with Cristiano Ronaldo. I think some of us may have seen this trailer we can see this cover here, concept cover, which we have created. Maybe this is what it's going to be looking like. Cristiano Ronaldo obviously on there because they want to make use of that license. There is also the other player licenses agreements. They're trying to work on that. They do have some partnership with some Premier League clubs and some individual clubs um, in some specific leagues in the top five leagues. But they are going to be working on that and try and get as many licenses as they can. It's going to be interesting to see what they're going to be doing with it. They did start development of this since 2016 uh, but obviously it takes a very long time to develop a whole new football game so we are expecting this in the second half of 2023 so maybe between July and December hopefully we could see something but this definitely looks very exciting. One of the three football games that is going to be coming. Now, the second game, which is potentially going to be threatening EA, is a game which is called Goals. This is, again, a free-to-play game. And this is quite interesting because we do have Kerr involved. You may know him. He is obviously a popular FIFA YouTuber, streamer. I think everybody in the community does know who he is. And he's had, in the past, many problems with EA, you could say. So he has decided uh, to be involved in this creation of this new football game and it is called goals now there has been an announcement trailer but it didn't really reveal much we did see some phrases such as play and earn and also esports ready talking about cross play other things like that based on the play and earn um phrase that they did say that quote it does seem like nfts are going to be involved i think that's something that also ea sports might be looking into um but goals this game is definitely going to be involving that sort of aspect in my opinion because on their website it does say that every asset will be fully owned by the player and can be traded freely on an open marketplace. So obviously in terms of the asset, it needs to be an online asset. So that is why I believe it's going to be uh, NFTs involved. And it does also say the choice will be easy when comparing goals to other football games, experience better gameplay and get rewarded for your time. So this is something that is going to be different. And um, we will see whether other games as well are going to be trying to go down this aspect. I I think some people are a little bit worried about this. We do have So Rare, which is currently sort of like fantasy football, NFTs based. Um, but to actually have it in a game similar to what we know as FIFA, it will be very interesting. Now, in terms of the release date, Goals is currently in pre-alpha stage, which means we're probably not going to see it for quite a while. The release is expected within the next two years, but that does mean it might be until 2025 before we do see Goals released and we can actually play it on our console. 
consoles. Now the final game which has the most chance of seriously competing with EA Sports is going to be the game developed by FIFA. This is going to be obviously keeping that name so it is going to be called FIFA 24. This is going to be a game that is developed and the FIFA president is very confident that they're going to be able to do it by themselves and pretty much creating a game from scratch. The FIFA president did say that I can assure you that the only authentic real game that has the FIFA name will be the best one available for gamers and football fans. So basically uh, taking shots at EA here saying that this FIFA game, the new one, is going to be much better. The FIFA name is the only global original title. FIFA 24, FIFA 25 and FIFA 26 and so on. The constant is the FIFA name and it will remain forever and remain the best. So he is confident saying um, that FIFA is going to be good. So it's a lot of talk here, but it isn't really backed up by anything. We don't know uh, which publishers, studios that they're going to be working with to develop this game. We do know that it is just aiming to be released in 2024, but that's literally it. We do have a concept cover here. We don't know exactly how the licenses are going to be working, but let's say that they were to get Haaland. Um, this is a nice FIFA 24 uh, cover concept that we do have created. We literally have no idea on what FIFA do have planned for this game, but let's say they were to have an alternative game mode to Ultimate Team, maybe called Dream Team. There could also be something similar to Pro Clubs. There's going to be some sort of other online modes, free play mode perhaps. It is going to be quite exciting definitely to see games that are competing with EA. Comment down below which one of these three you do think has the most chance of threatening EA Sports.